Now let's talk about the termination of the prokaryotic protein synthesis. And here we have polypeptide release and then ribosome dissociation. So this process continues when there is a stop codon and we have release factor known as class 1 release factor where it will bind to the factor binding center of the A site. So class 1 release factor will bring itself and it has a feature that it has a anticodon region that will bind to the stop codon. So with anticodon recognize the stop codon and from the other hand in green color it has a trans it, it has a enzyme activity that will cleave the polypeptide chain out peptidase activity that cleaves the whole polypeptide chain out from the amino acyl tRNA to the P site. So the complete length of the polypeptide chain is now free, it is now out and this release factor 1 mimics the structure of tRNA. Yes, it mimics tRNA structure. Then comes class 2 release factor. The job of class 2 release factor is to release class 1 release factor. Class 2 release factor works a little inversely. It brings GDP with itself, not GTP, GDP with itself. Once associate itself to the factor binding site in the A site, transfers GDP to GTP and then it hydrolyzes GTP again into GDP and dissociates itself from this place. So it acts a little different, a little weirdly, but still it acts to separate the class 1 release and factor. So class 2 release factor's job is done. Now comes the third factor that is a ribosome dissociation part of the story and we need a ribosome recycling factor or RRF. The job of RRF to again bring itself uh, and attach itself to this A site that is present there and we not only need RRF but along with that we need initiation factor 3. If you recall initiation factor 3 can separate the large ribosomal subunit from the small ribosomal subunit. So that is the beauty of initiation factor 3. We need it along with ribosome recycling factor, both of them. So they will bring itself, bind to the A site here and then we also need EFG with GTP because we need to slide one last codon unit in order to release the tRNA. So one codon unit sliding is done and then we bring IF3, initiation factor 3 which will bind to the small ribosomal subunit separates large ribosomal subunit from small subunit and rest all the other release factors are released out. They are ready to be utilized for the next round of protein synthesis in prokaryotes. That's how the prokaryotic translation or prokaryotic protein synthesis concludes at the end.